Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a platform game on Construct 2. And just to show you how easy it is, I'm, I've set myself the challenge of doing it in less than 10 minutes. Now here's the opening screen that you see, see when you start the program. You choose New Project and then New Empty Project. In the central window here is the layout. You can press Control and use the mouse wheel to zoom or use the plus and minus keys. The dotted line shows what you'll see on the screen at any one time. But the game will scroll. We're going to make it scroll to follow your character around the whole of the maze. So it's going to look quite cool. Now, the first thing you do is start adding objects to your layout, to your project. So you right click, insert new object. The first thing I'm going to insert is the main character sprite. So I choose a sprite, click somewhere on the layout, doesn't really matter where. I'm not going to draw a sprite. I'm going to open a file that, I've, that I already have my game stuff in. So this is quite a simple design, as you can see, that I drew earlier. Double click on that, close that box, and there's my little character. I'm going to make him quite small. Then I'm going to right click again, insert a new object, another sprite. Click on there, open a file. Sprite 2 is just a big purple, pink and purple square. This is actually going to be the platform. So I'm going to make this into a long, thin platform. Okay, and put it there. Now I want lots of platforms. So I'm going to right click and copy, and then right click and paste, and click, and then right click and paste, and left click, and then right click and paste, and left click, and then right click. And and paste and, and click and then right click and paste and click and there we have a few platforms now I'm going to move these around you can make some bigger you can make some smaller um, I'm going to make one of them the bottom one uh, I'm going to kind of make it like the floor so that he doesn't fall off the edge and, and you can spend a lot of time making really quite a cool maze and the last sprite that we want is going to be my piece of cheese. I'm going to open the file with the cheese sprite. And I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So the object of the game is to, get, is to find your way around the maze and get to the cheese. And there we go. So there's the cheese sprite. Now the next thing we want to do is give behaviors to the sprites. So the main guy, if you click on him, you'll see his properties in the window over on the left hand side here. Click on behaviors, click add, and you want to tell it two things. First of all, you want to scroll to follow him. And secondly, the second behavior is that he's a platformer. Okay? So that's that done. The platforms, sorry, we just click on them and we just give them one behavior. We say that they are solid. Okay, and we might just give the cheese, so click on the cheese, you don't right click, you left click, and we'll give that the solid behavior too, so that when the player hits the cheese, he stops. Okay, so we've got all the sprites on the screen. Um, we do need to add a couple more objects, one more object, but before we do that, we'll test the game. So up at the top here, you can run the layout. It opens it up in your browser. And by default, it uses the arrow keys to run and jump around. Here we go. It runs along, gets to the cheese and stops. He jumps over the cheese, he disappears off the edge of the world. So, never mind. Um, now, the last object that we want to add is the audio. So, we um, right click, insert a new object, and say that we want to add audio. There we go. Now, we need to choose the files that we're going to use for the audio, for the music and the sounds. 
in the game. So we go over to the right hand side here. For the music, we right click, import music, go to my game stuff folder, and I've already uh, chosen a file. This is one of the free files that comes with Construct 2. Construct 2, by the way, it comes in a completely free version. And this is one of the freebies that you get with the free version. And then we try to want to choose imports to import the sound, which is the game over sound that comes with the free version. You get lots more files uh, with music and sprites and all sorts of things if you if you buy the uh, the paid version. It's well worth it. So open the file. Here we go. So we have music and sounds ready to go. When you would like something to happen in the game you add an event to the event sheet. So here's the event sheet and to add an event you click on add event. Uh, now I want the music to start at the beginning of the program so I'm going to say when the system, I'm going to choose system and sometimes the events seem to disappear here but there's one there for on start of layout so basically when the game starts Add an action. We want some audio to happen. We want it to play something. And we want it to play GO1. So there's the file already in there. Um, and that's done. Then my next event is what happens when the uh, player hits the cheese. So I'm going to say that we want an event to happen when something happens to the cheese. And somewhere we'll find. On collision with another object. There we go. Choose the object. Our little dude. Done. And when the collision happens, we want an audio action to happen. And we want it to play the game over sound. I just realized I made a mistake up here. I uh, told it to play the game over sound at the beginning of the game and not the music. So the tune I actually want is MO1. Serves me right for giving them silly names. So there we go. So right now, so we have two events. When the system starts the layout or starts the, uh, the game screen, uh, it plays the MO1 music. And on collision with the sprite, it plays the game over sound. So if we play the game now, we should have music. And we should have a game over sound. There we go. So, it's not the best game in the world, but we have a basic platformer. and So I hope you agree, it's all quite easy to do and you can spend heaps of time exploring the uh, capabilities of Construct 2. If you go to the website there are lots of fantastic tutorials that will show you how to make really professional games. In one of the next videos in the series I'm going to show you how to take the game that you've made and uh, make an app for your iPod or phone or tablet. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. Bye.